it's snowing. I'm just south of uh, Barrie, Ontario, north of uh, Toronto. That's highway over there, that's highway 400. And the weather's miserable. It started snowing. And next to me is a cool looking uh, Peterbilt, you know, the new type. Actually, I like these. And on the right, I forgot some kind of old truck. But this is a rest area, one of those uh, new ones with uh, you know, coffee shops and restaurants and you, know, you can buy tea and I don't think they have showers but it's pretty cool. And I got a load, sorry my uh, mirror is pretty dirty, but you can probably see there's a big white roll of rubber, it's a conveyor belt. Well, You can see in the dirty mirror. And how I got here, I uh, I delivered that Ford F600, that old truck you saw in the previous video. I delivered in uh, Reachtown, Ontario, which is about almost 200 kilometers, 120 miles west of uh, Cambridge, my home area. And I started driving back. They didn't have anything out of there, of course, because it's a small town. But between Richtown and Cambridge, there's a big town called London, Ontario. And there's a big cat dealer, caterpillar dealer. There's lots of factories. I know they have uh, uh, even one military factory where they make armored, armored personnel carriers for the army. I saw a couple of listings uh, with those loads on when I was on with Landstar. I saw them on the board but I never was able to get one uh, when I was with Landstar like well, because all you need is a step deck. It's it's like you know one of those armored vehicles that carry uh, troops armored with maybe like uh, four big tires on each side looks like a boat with a cover right you know, once actually they gave me that load, I, I started driving there and after like 20 miles the guy call, calls me back, he says, oh I'm sorry, that, that load is not, not available. Didn't pay me any money, nothing, I just said, I just did 20 miles this way, now I have to go back 20 miles, that's already 40 miles. You know, I, I just lost an hour pretty much, plus fuel. Oh well, you know, stuff happens, yeah sure. But anyway, yeah, but there was nothing there. I, I, I was at the Flying J in London, so I, on the night before, there's, you know, they have Denny's. Uh, I fueled up. My uh, def was uh, getting low. I filled up with def fuel. It was a dollar, dollar per liter. 99 cents Canadian per liter. So times 3.78, that's the price per US gallon in Canadian. Divided by 1.45, that's US dollars. And so I took a shower because I had these bonus points after fueling. I went to the restaurant and um, bought a movie, watched a movie on my computer, did the previous movie, uploaded to the internet. And the internet sucked and the Denny's, like it was too slow. I couldn't use it for that big file, it was like 450 megabytes. So but anyway, I wake up in the morning thinking maybe there's a load and my dispatch is asking me, are you still in London? And I'm like, okay. I'm getting a load. So yeah, all right, go to Husky Truck Stop. You have to do a random uh, drug and alcohol test. <laughs> and you cannot say no because it's DOT, the US DOT. They you know every quarter they pick up out of the list of drivers uh, somebody to do the drug drug test. But before it was always drug test. This time they decided to run an alcohol test on me. So it was the same uh, little machine that cops use, you know, like breathalyzer, breathalyzer, whatever it's called, breath analyzer. So I did the tests and then sent sent the message to my dispatcher. I said, "No drugs or vodka have been found on my person." Well, nobody laughed, so my attempt at humor uh, was unnoticed. So I said, "I'm driving back home." They said, "Yeah, okay." So I started driving. And all of a sudden they say, hey, we have a load uh, north of Toronto going to Florida. What? 
where do I sign, you know? So they sent me the information, I stopped at the truck stop uh, on the way there and uh, look at uh, where I had to go, program my GPS. And so I went there, I was there around 3 o'clock, so I picked up these two, uh, two rolls of rubber, they're about 10 feet tall, but they're not heavy, it's like 15,000 pounds each. But because I'm picking up a partial load tomorrow, like LTL, so we had to put them side by side like this, so that uh, I have more space on the deck. But still, you know, it's pretty challenging. They're pretty tall, heavy, top heavy. And my chains are, I had to use six chains. I basically had to couple three chains in one, and then another three chains, and then I used the strap over the top. So these things sit like, oh, and plus there's a wood at the bottom. Or you have to nail it down to your deck I hate that because you know you never know like I could hear one nail was uh, ringing like had a metal sound when you hammer on it that means that it was touching the wood I mean touching the metal and underneath there I have cables you know like electric air uh, so you don't want to damage those okay the snow is uh, not too bad Maybe I'll show you guys briefly. Okay, which way the snow is flowing? I'm just afraid to take my camera outside. Mm. Okay, well, I know the front is uh, watertight. We're gonna use this uh, hat as a little umbrella. Okay, I'm going to show you these, uh, these uh, coils. We can call them coils or rubber rolls. Okay, where's my key? My key is here. I did one of these before if you remember but that one was uh, much bigger it was like single coil I mean single roll but that one was huge I think it was like 40,000 pounds I don't remember and that's what it is so two rolls side by side See, and you have to you put these wood in here you yeah put the nail and that's how you do it and the guy just loads it on the, in the middle Jesus my trail is dirty so now I still have space on the back I can put something over there on the fenders in the front you know and that's what I'm doing tomorrow tomorrow I'm picking up this this uh, partial load and then Uncle Sergi is heading to Florida. Get some tan, tan on my pale legs. And uh, maybe I'll have some. I would just wonder that, you know, Florida, there's never any loads out of there. Like, I hope I'll have something that I don't have to deadhead 1200 miles back home. So we'll see. But for now, it's 5 o'clock p.m. So I gotta be in Mississauga, Ontario tomorrow at 8 o'clock and it's only about 70 kilometers from here, so 45 miles, just south on that uh, highway 400. Just hope the weather improves, you know, because the temperature was uh, pretty much freezing. If it keeps snowing like this, the roads can uh, get icy. And nobody wants that because then you know there are lots of accidents and traffic slows down to a crawl and it would take me forever to reach my uh, second shipper well this was a, just a quick update right I'll, sh I'll do more on the way to Florida because it'll take me probably like three days to get there well today's Thursday so I'm gonna be driving over the weekend so this one is legal load right I don't need any permits no flags no signs because I'm just like right now I'm about 3,000 pounds on the legal limit for US and then the, tomorrow that LTL it's only like a couple thousand pounds so I'll be like right there but what I'm trying to say is that because I'm legal I don't have any curfews you know I can run as as long as my logbook allows me 
I don't have to shut down like half an hour after sunset or stuff like that, you know. So I, I, I hope to hit Florida uh, Monday or maybe Sunday night. We'll see how uh, how the trip goes. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm Sergey Drachev, somewhere near Toronto, Ontario.